Hello, everyone. This is Hetting Tian. Welcome back. Today, in this video, we are learning quadratic equations by factoring. Uh, zero factor properties. Uh, zero times any value equal to zero. Yes, that is true because we know that if we have eight times zero, that must be zero. If we have zero times a, it is zero. I don't care what is the a, but uh, the multiplication of zero and another number, that is zero. Also, you know that zero times zero is zero. Let's see, uh, solve the following quadratic equations. First one, x plus three times x plus five equal to zero. That means the first factor could be zero or the second factor could be zero. That means we can list the two equations x plus three equal to zero or x plus five equal to zero. We can solve the x from these two equations. Uh, we can subtract, subtract the three by, uh, by three both sides or move the three to another side by changing the sign. x equals negative three. And uh, subtract the five both sides, x equals negative five. We can list them in the uh, set notation, negative five, negative three. Next example, number B, five X times 10 X minus three. The fact, first factor could be zero or the second factor could be zero because they are multiplying. That means they are two factors. So five X equal to zero or 10 X minus three equal to zero. Both sides divided by five, x equals zero, because zero divided by five is zero. And second equation, 10x minus three equal to zero. We can first get rid of the minus three. We can add three both sides, 10x equals three. And divided by 10, both sides, x equals three over 10. We have two solutions. They are zero and three over 10. Next one, x plus x squared equal to zero. x plus four squared, that is x plus four times x plus four. So the first factor equal to zero, second equal to zero, but these two factors, they are the same. That means we don't need to solve two of them. We only need to solve one factor equal to zero. X plus four equal to zero. So subtract the four both sides, X equals negative four. You can list it in the set notation is negative four. Okay. Solving the quadratic equation by factoring. So sometimes the question will not provide you the factored form like this like this and the number C. They will give you the form something like this, x squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. So how to convert this one to the factored form equal to zero, we have learned from the chapter 1.1. So the step of solving the quadratic equation is the first one is, if necessary, rewrite the equation in the general form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, moving all non-zero terms to one side, thereby obtaining zero on the other side. So all the term on one side, make sure we we like to have the positive leading term. Make sure your leading term is positive. What is the leading term? Uh, in the polynomial. That's the variable. The term has the variable carries the most of uh, the, hi uh, the highest power. For example, this term, the x squared. So the x carries the most power goes first. And descending order of the polynomial means the first term carries the most power and then next term has the lower power and the last term has the lowest power or no power of the verb x. Okay, second, uh, second one, uh, factor completely. 
always look for the GCF factor, the uh, quadratic equation. Third, apply the non-zero product principle, setting each factor containing a variable equal to zero. Uh, fourth, solve the equation in step three. Fifth, check the solution in the original equation. Let's use the five steps to solve the quadratic equation. So first one, uh, are everybody on one side of the equation and another side is zero? Yes, they are, and the leading term is positive. So which method I should choose to factor this one, this polynomial? The A and M method, because leading coefficient is one, so I can use A and M. What is the A? Addition of two factors. And the last term constant is the multiplication. Multiplication of two factors is negative 10. And addition of them is negative 3. So what are they? They could be 2 and 5. And one of them must be negative because we have negative 10. Uh, five is negative because addition of them could be a negative three. I can write them in the factored form. They are x plus two, x minus five equal to zero. We can solve uh, two equations, x plus two equal to zero, x minus five equal to zero. And uh, subtract the two both sides from the first equation, x equals negative two. Mm -hmm and uh, add five both side x equals five, or you move the number to another side by changing the sign. So we have two solutions, negative two and the positive five. Uh, you can also go back to check your solution if the, they make the equation equal to zero. So first, if the x equal to negative two, negative two squared minus three mm -hmm. times negative two minus 10, is that zero? Let's see. We have four minus uh, negative three times negative two is positive six minus 10. So 10 minus 10, is that zero equal to the uh, right hand side? Yes, it is zero. So negative two is our solution. How about negative uh, positive five? positive five squared minus three times five minus 10. Is that zero? Let's see, five squared is 25 minus 15 minus 10. So 25 minus 15 is 10, 10 minus 10 is zero. Yes, it's right hand side. Yes, these are all our solutions. Let's see, next one, pause the video and uh, think about the uh, the equation. Are they all on one side of the equation? No, we need to move everybody to one side and keep a positive leading term. Leading term is x squared. So I can subtract the 8x and plus 15 both sides, or I can move all of them to another side by changing the sign. x squared minus 8x plus 15 equal to zero. Then we factor this polynomial. Which method I'm using? I must use A and M method, it's easier. A is here, M is here. Leading coefficient is one. Uh, M is 15, find two factors. They are, both of them must be positive or negative, uh, can make a positive 15. So what are they? They must be three and five. And the addition of three and five, can they make a negative eight? No, I must have negative three and negative eight, uh, negative three and negative five. They are x minus three, x minus five equal to zero. Solve two equations, x minus three equal to zero, x minus five equal to zero and x equals to three, x equal to five. We have two solutions, three and five. If you have the time, you can go back to the equation to solve, uh, to plug in the value x of the x and to see if left-hand side equal to right-hand side. Next one, let's see. 
So everybody on one side of the equation? Yes, they are on one side of the equation. Can we use a and M method again? No, because leading coefficient is six. We must, we can use a and M method. So a and M method, the A is six. M, no, oh, AC method, am I right? Mm, AC method, because leading coefficient is six. I can't use, I cannot use a and M method. So A times C is six times negative 10 is negative 60. Find the two factors. The addition is 11. What are they? I can say two and 30. No, addition cannot make a 11. Uh, how about the four and the 15? Multiplication of them can make a 60 and the one of them must be negative. And uh, addition is positive 11. So I must give a negative sign to the four. Then break down the second term, six x squared minus four x plus 15 x minus, uh, minus 10. Minus 10 equal to zero. We have four terms, we do group factoring. Factor out the GCF from the first two. I have two X, three X minus two. Plus the GCF from these two, they are five times three minus two equal to, oh, three X, don't forget the X equal to zero. Uh, five factor out the three X minus two. We have two X plus five equal to zero. And the least of two equations, they are 3x minus two equal to zero and 2x plus five equal to zero. Uh, solve the x from these two equations plus two both sides, 3x equals two and divided by three both sides, x equal to is equal to two over three. Second equation, Subtra uh, subtract a five both side, two X equals negative five divided by two. We have X equals negative two over uh, five over two. You can list them in the set notation. Three over two, negative five over two. In the set notation, the order doesn't matter. You can put, put for, uh, <clears throat> you can put negative five over two first. Uh, next one. Uh, move all the terms to one side. 3x squared minus 2x minus 8 equal to 0. We must use AC method. Leading coefficient is 3. AC. And A times C is 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. Then find two factors. Well, what are they? Can make a uh, addition negative two. So how about four and the six? Which which term I should have the positive? Four or six? I must have um, the positive for the six. Oh, sorry. Four and six. So. Four must be positive and six is negative. Why? Because addition of four and negative six can make a positive, oh, oh, sorry, can make a negative two X. The next step, I need to break down the middle term. Three X squared minus, oh, sorry, plus four X minus six X minus eight equal to zero. Group first two and last two. We have X, 3x plus 4 minus, so what should I factor? I should factor 2. We have negative 2, we have 3x plus 4 equal to 0. So 3x plus 4 times x minus 2 equal to 0. 
uh, x e three x plus four equal to zero or x minus two equal to zero. We can solve the x, uh, move the four to another side, x equals to negative four divided by three, both sides x equal to negative three or four, uh, four or three. And another equation, x equal to two. Okay, let's move on to next one. So everybody on one side of the equation, yes, they are, but we only have two terms. If we have two terms, we can't use, we cannot use AC or ANM method. We only need to factor out the GCF uh, from the three and 12. What is the GCF? That's three. From the x squared and x, I can factor out the x. So x in the parentheses, we have x plus four equal to zero. 3x equal to zero or x plus four equal to zero. Uh, divided by three both sides, x equal to zero. Uh, subtract the four both sides, x equal to negative four. I have two solutions, zero and negative four or negative four, zero. Uh, next one, let's see. Are they all on one side of the equation? Are they the standard form of the ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero? No, they are not. So we need to distribute the two x in the parentheses first and then combine like terms and uh, make them to the standard form. So let's distribute the first. Four x, two x times, hmm, where is four x? Sorry for the confusing uh, things. So two x times x is two x squared. Two x time, uh, times negative three is negative six x equals five x squared minus seven x. Combine the like terms. That means I need to combine the x squared term and x term. So which side I need to move everybody? Uh, I'd better to move all of them to the right-hand side because I want to keep a positive leading term. So I can subtract the two x squared and then plus six x both sides. So one side is zero, another side five x squared minus two x squared, that is three x squared minus seven x plus six x is minus x. So zero equals factor the GCF, which is x, three x minus one equal to x uh, equal to zero. So x equal to zero or three x minus one equal to zero. Uh, so we only need to solve the second equation. Uh, add one both sides, three x equals one, divided by three both sides, x equals one third. So the solution is zero, one third. Okay, so leave you some time to process the question and then move on to the next question. So next question is a little bit hard because you see, we have two terms. Uh, we have two.